Welcome to a video on Information Storage Management, Module 5. The topics are Introduction, Information Availability IA, BC Terminology, which is Business Continuity Terminology, its life cycle, Business Impact Analysis, Technology Solutions for BC. So one among the solution is Backup and Restore. Following our topics in Backup and Restore. In part 1 video, I would like to discuss topics up to technology solutions. So let's begin. Explain information availability. It's a key to your question. So IA ensures that people can access information whenever they need it. Okay. So information availability can be expressed in terms of accessibility, reliability and timeliness. So each of them are given right below. Then the causes for information unavailability. So you can see it is due to natural disasters, then unplanned outages like uh, power failure, etc. Then planned outages. That is if you need to install something, uh, you would have to make the information unavailable for that period. So they are planned outages. The explanation is given right below. Then next is the impact of information unavailability. So I guess you can see it results in loss of productivity, loss of revenue, poor financial performance, damages to reputation. The explanation is given right below. Okay, then uh, you have the pictorial representation for um, EC study. Then it can be calculated as follows. That is the average cost of downtime per hour. What is downtime will be uh, explained uh, right below. So average cost of downtime per hour is average productivity loss per hour plus the average revenue loss per hour. So here we can mention about downtime in this question that is explain the process of measuring information availability. It's a key to your question again. So information availability relies on availability of both physical and virtual components of a data center. Okay, so failures of the components result in information unavailability. Okay, this uh, timeline diagram shows an incident of information unavailability happening right here and it is detected, then it undergoes diagnosis. So, detection to diagnosis time is the response time, then it has to be repaired, then restored, then recovered. So you notice the time, recovery time, repair time, okay. Then this time uh, from the incident happening till the recovery is called the uh, time to repair or downtime. Okay, you can see it here. Then the time between failures is the uptime, okay. That is from recovery till the next incident, okay. So it can be measured using two terms that is, uh, MTBF that is mean time between the failures and MTTR that is mean time to repair okay and IA that is information availability can be given as uh, system uptime by system uptime plus system downtime also MTBF by MTBF plus MTTR okay next explain business continuity so business continuity from the word it is a process that prepares for response to and recovers from a system outage which would adversely affect the business operations. That is uh, here we try to make the business uh, continue its operations okay in spite of any uh, information unavailability our business should continue. So how things should be done okay so just go through it then what are the various processes associated with business continuity that is the terminology so data or oh sorry disaster recovery disaster restart then recovery point objective rpo um, and recovery time objective rto so uh, these things are very clear from the word itself so for business continuity we need to recover from the disaster we need to restart from the disaster Okay, then recovery point objective is, is a point in time to which the system and data must be recovered. Okay, after an outage occurs. Okay, then recovery time objective is the time with which 
uh, or within which uh, applications must be recovered after an outage so a uh, figure to explain it next is describe the business continuity planning process so you have five stages establishing objectives analyzing designing and developing implementing then testing maintaining etc so the explanation is given right below just go through it then next is business impact analysis bia okay so what is the impact okay so it can be including the following set of tasks that is you must first determine to know the impact okay you need to determine the business areas for each business area identify the key business process which are critical to that operation so all this would um, help us to know the impact okay so determine the attributes of business process in terms of application databases and so on okay we go on to the next uh, explain business continuity technology solutions okay so there are three main solutions that is resolving single point failure multi pathing software and backup and restore okay so what is this single point failure how do you um, restore it okay so we need to resolve this uh, single point failure for that uh, to mitigate or to avoid single point failure systems are designed with redundancy so whatever components you can see in the figure whatever components they are uh, you should create a redundancy see a redundant network then you have uh, redundant parts redundant fc switches okay then redundant ports redundant arrays for storage okay so all this if you go through it you find that um, configuration of redundant hbas okay uh, then configuration of ni nic's teaming at the server okay configuration of redundant switches so all these help to uh, re resolve the single point of failure next uh, we have multi pathing software in business continuity um, that um, what it says is that it provides the functionality to utilize alternate io paths to data okay so um, multi pathing software intelligently manages the paths to a device by sending io the uh, down the optimal path based on the load balancing and other failure policies so uh, there will be multiple paths and depending upon the load balancing an optimal path is selected so that is another way of ensuring business continuity next is backup okay so what is backup i will mention here that is it is just an additional uh, copy of the production data created and retained for the sole purpose that is in case of any uh, corruption occurs it can recover the data so backups are helpful in that case now um, describe backup granularities or backup types main types are full backup incremental backup cumulative backup okay so full backup this is a figure uh, full backup is a um, backup of the complete data okay so it occurs at intervals then incremental backup you can see it copies the data that has changed since the last full or incremental backup okay whichever has occurred more recently okay you can see the figure and last one is cumulative one it goes in a cumulative manner and that says it copies the data that has changed since the last full backup okay. so question 14 onwards we'll discuss in part 2 thank you